I'm Chris Dawson, editor of Tamey.com, and I'm here at Retail Without Borders with Carlos Cantalini from Laradu. So tell us about Laradu. Um, who are you? What do you do? Well, actually, Laradu is the well, first e-commerce platform uh, for fashion and home and furniture in France. So actually, we, are like a, we were like a mail-order company. We exist since 180 years. And actually, uh, we opened our, our marketplace uh, seven years ago. So actually, uh, yeah, we are one of the well, best platforms for, to develop the business in France when you are in fashion and when you are in home and furniture. So a very, very established French brand in yeah. its own right, and the platform's been open seven years. Yeah. What type of retailers will do well on Laradu? Is it fashion? Is it home? Is it a, is it a top brand? Is it an independent? Yeah, actually we have a mix of different partners today on Laredut. Uh, half of the business is fashion, so, so actually today we look for fashion brands, but also for home and furniture, linen uh, brands. So it's much better when brands, they are already established, when they are not famous, but well, when they are established. Today we are uh, extremely selective in our marketplace, which is a big difference if we compare with other platforms because you can't just sign up on Laredut and start selling. We have like a, a process where we are, we are going to validate each partner, but that's how we know that we are going to be able to develop the business. So this is really, really important for us and it's key for the business is to select the people that they are working with us. So Laredu, you could say it was a curated marketplace where you're going to ensure that only known brands or established brands are there. Yeah. So I'm guessing that also means for the brands, they have a lot more control over how they present their products and the price because they're not fighting against other retailers selling the same yeah, products. Yeah, that's uh, one of the goals of, uh, of the marketplace, and this is this is was and is our strategy. Not only to be selective, but not to have thousands of sellers. So actually, uh, brands they can be comfortable working with us, knowing that they are going to have their uh, image in our platform. So actually we are able to make that special shops for, for brands and we work today with major brands that they consider La Redout not only as a channel but also like a, like a media to advertise and to have like the new collection. So it's, it's something important for us. In the partnership it's not only the sales, it's also how brands they are going to improve the brand awareness for the French market. So that's, that's, that thing is going to be very important for a lot of brands, that, that ability to mm -hmm. establish themselves as a brand. But I'm guessing um, in order to do that, then you need quite a lot of information from them. So what type of information do you need um, on language, on pricing, yeah. on um, product attributes? Yeah, we ask for quite a lot of information. This is uh, sometimes can be a challenge for brands, but we know that it's really important. Today, uh, our marketplace is only in France, even if we are like in around 20 countries, but uh, the marketplace is in France. So actually all the data and the content have to be in French. French, when I say French, is French well translated. So actually people... Not when Google they are, Translate. Yeah, not Google Translate, uh, even if it can be helpful sometimes, but not really uh, if you want to list the products in, uh, in France. So actually I would say the, one of the key things is going to be the, the language, the quality of the data we are going to receive, so have to be French and actually when people they are going to La Redoute and they look on products, they don't have to think, oh this is like a British brand because there's something that is not correctly translated, this is not the goal. Yeah, yeah. and I understand that one of the reasons you have that in-depth information and in French is that it actually lowers the returns rates? Of course. Uh, if you have enough information on the product pages, you are going to get less uh, returns. We know that uh, when, when the data is not that, uh, uh, I would say, complete, customers, they can place an order, but then after 10 minutes, they already ask you for something. This is, this is going to give you more work also for your customer service. So actually, it's really important to put all the information, to have several pictures, to be able to zoom on the picture, to see uh, the, the quality of the fabric, stuff like that. You are going to avoid returns and you are going to avoid work for the customer service. So I guess in someone that's used to selling on traditional marketplaces, when they come to you, they may have to reshoot photographs, they may have to add in Sometimes. more product data. Yeah. 
Um, but that's going to be reflected in yeah. sales and less customer service. And customer service, I guess, also needs to be in French. Have to be, have to be in French. And uh, it's true that uh, today, when we have a brand already selling on marketplaces, and they are expecting to list the product as they are today, and they are working fine on other marketplaces, we say, okay, maybe here we need to do some improvements. There's things that we are going to ask because this is how they will get visibility on the platform. The goal for us is not list the product. It's list the product but on the right place, on the right category, with the right attributes, with the right information, because customers, they are different. I mean, on our marketplace, they are really different if we compare with the clients they, they are on, on our platforms. So we know who are our clients, so we know what they are expecting in terms of a product page and service. So your customers are looking for a, a certain standard. I'm guessing a lot of brands will have looked at marketplaces and thought, we don't really want to sell on the marketplace because we lose control of the product, yeah. may even lose control of our price or mm. uh, have strong competition um, from very, very similar products. Mm. What would you say to them is different for Laradu? Yeah, well, today brands, they are understanding that the marketplace is the best choice if they want to control the image they are giving and uh, also the prices because uh, if they are, I mean, the main seller of the brand in the platform, you know that uh, the new collection is going to be leased correctly, that customers, they are going to get the product on the right uh, price. So this is uh, important for us. And we, when we, we work with brands and multi-brand sellers, even if there are few multi-brand sellers working with, uh, with us, but we are really strict on that. They have to respect um, the image of, of the brand, what they want to, uh, to do. The goal is, for example, we ask our sellers not to list products from the previous collections. We only want the current collection on the platform. That's what our customers they are expecting. And if you have like uh, outlet products, we are going to say, don't list it on La Redoute. This is not what we want to, uh, mm. to, to give like uh, the image. So a lot of brands and retailers have traditionally used marketplaces for end of line, out of season stock. Mm. But what you're saying is, yeah, other marketplaces can do that, but yeah. Laredo is different. Yeah. We are your window to the French consumer right. for your new in-season collections yeah. Yeah. at full price, not at cut price. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, Laredo in, in France, actually, before all this marketplace uh, business, we were already working since years with, uh, with designers, with like new generation of designers in France. So actually we were making like uh, small collections with designers. So actually French people, they are used to discover new brands and uh, they go to La Redoute to discover because they trust La Redoute when we choose a partner. And on the marketplace, we try to do the same. Mm -hmm. We try today to, to choose the brand that they are working with us. Sometimes the brand, we are going to think that they are not yet ready. We prefer to wait, we prefer to explain a lot what we are expecting and then when they arrive to the platform then they are going to be happy because we are going to be the first channel for sales so this is really good for us but there's a lot of work before so a lot of work but a, a, a very good opportunity for a brand to set out their stall yeah. in their own brand image um, and attack the french marketplace yeah right. now we're here at retail without borders and obviously pentagon um, can help people launch on Laradu, but yeah. for people that want to come to you direct, how do they get in touch? How do they say, I'd they, like to partner with you? They, they can go to the, I mean, to the platform, to the website, and we have a form that you are going to fill all the information about your brand, about your products, the number of products you have, if you are already working with Pentagon or not, and then uh, we get this information and we have a team that we are going to look uh, each request and we are going to see if we can have a partnership or not. We receive quite a lot of requests. Uh, last year, I think we received 6,000. Probably we accept 50 sellers. So we are really, really uh, selective, but we look into each request to see if there's something we can mm. do with the brand. So I think the message is that this is something for almost an exclusive marketplace for, yeah. for, for brands and, and recognized names. Yeah that want to attack the French marketplace, mm. want to protect their brand image and their pricing structure, right. yeah. and uh, 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 expose their in-season stock and their new season stock yeah. to the French market. Yeah. So if that's you, go to laradu.fr mm. and, 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 and apply to sell on Laradu. Yeah. Carlos, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you very much.